So here's the problem. An average sized asteroid located uh, uh, 50 million kilometers from the Earth was has a mass with a mass of 2 times 10 to the 13 kgs. So um, just to get a sense, uh, um, a thousand kgs is a uh, uh, thousand kgs is a small car so this is 20 billion small cars and uh, what happened 20 billion small cars and you guys remember about 60 million years ago the theory is a big asteroid hit and uh, the dinosaurs for some reason didn't like it okay and so is detected headed directly toward earth with a speed of two kilometers per second what will its speed be just before it hits our atmosphere? By the way, do you guys know how thick our atmosphere is? Okay, so the atmosphere decays exponentially. You go up five miles and you have crossed 65 percent of that atmosphere. Okay, so essentially it's nothing. Okay. Uh, you guys remember the X prize or whatever that was offered uh, a few years ago, 10 million bucks. If you get left, left the atmosphere on a rocket, on a private rocket, you got 10 million bucks. And that was a uh, hundred kilometers was the mark to get to Spain. Anyway, so the atmosphere is very thin. I okay, guess so the reason we are talking about that is because we are going to say that this is get reaching the surface of the Earth. Okay. All right, so Coming back to this, asteroid is that many kilometers away. What will its speed be just before it hits the atmosphere? Okay, so here's the asteroid, and it's uh, going at two kilometers a second, and located. Uh, 50,000 kilometers, okay, 50 million kilometers. So that is this distance. We'll assume it's from the center of the Earth. It won't matter whether it's from the surface of the center. And the radius of the Earth is small compared to this. So even though it's not said in the problem, it's implied that that distance is from the center of the Earth. So 50 million kilometers. And what we want to find is what is the velocity of this asteroid when it hits the Earth? Okay. So, what is this? We'll, what, we'll use this energy conservation principle. Okay. So, potential and plus energy plus kinetic energy at the initial point is equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy at the final point. Okay. So, one half mv squared. So, this is the kinetic energy at the initial point of the asteroid. This is its initial potential energy. Okay. Its initial potential energy and um, that should equal one half mv final square minus g m e m by r final so r final is equal to the radius of the earth okay essentially it's hit the surface of the earth remember the atmosphere is very thin and so on okay and uh, v final is what we want to find okay so uh, one of the first things you want to notice is that this m cancels what does that tell you The mass of the asteroid doesn't matter. Every asteroid starting at that point at that speed would hit with the same speed. Okay, so right. so on. All right, so now let me do this. So let me arrange it a little better. So uh, I'll kill the half. So v final square is v initial square. And we'll bring this on the other side plus 2 G 
M E and you can uh, do this algebra at home if you if it's not clear to you but that's vf square okay all right now we're ready to put in the numbers okay. so i'll copy this and uh, we'll put it on a new sheet of paper all right let's add a page Hey, Jonathan, before we come, I end, let's make sure we save the file. And I, and I don't foresee it, so make sure I don't close it, okay? And uh, otherwise, we'll blame it on you, okay? All right, so this is the final velocity square, and uh, initial velocity was uh, two kilometers per second, so 2,000 meters per second square, plus two G is 6.67. Okay, now I'm not going to, I'm going to run out of space, so I'm not going to write units. Okay, we are all keeping it in SI units. The mass of the Earth is 6 times 10 to the 24 kgs. And the radius of the Earth, R final is equal to the radi radius of the Earth is 6.4 times 10 to the 6 uh, meters. And uh, our initial was 50 times 10 to the 6 meters. Okay. So again, this is, um, <clears throat> and uh, this is a good thing. See, of course, the, the asteroid would, would hit much faster than the initial velocity. So it's initial velocity times this number, okay, which is a positive number. Uh, so, all right, so let's uh, calculate this number, 2,000. All right, let's take care of powers of 10 here first. This is 11, and 24 minus 11 is 13, and then uh, we'll lose 6 there. So 13 minus 6 is uh, 7. Uh, so 7, and uh, what we'll do is we'll spend one of that here. So it's uh, 2 times 6.67 into 60. 1 over 6.4 minus 1 over 50 times 10 to the 6. Okay, and the reason I wrote that 10 to the 6 is because you have a 10 to the 6 here. Okay, so <clears throat> and 2 square is 4, so 4 plus 2 times 6.67 times 60 divided by 1.64 minus 1 over 50 into 10 to the 6 meters square second square. Okay, that's what the units will work out because we've kept everything in SI units. Okay, so here let me point something out. See, this was the, this term is from the initial kinetic energy. This is this term is four. Look at this. This is sixty times seven. That's four hundred and twenty times two. Uh, that's eight hundred. And uh, this is roughly a factor of a tenth. So that's eighty. So you can the initial kinetic energy. You don't even have to worry about. It. Okay, it's nothing. It's jump change. Well, it's not a significant um, factor. Okay, so it sped up from falling down at, from that distance, essentially, okay? All right, so let's uh, figure out this number.
Okay, so if you figure this out, um, this work out, works out to 4 plus 109. Okay, so like I said, that uh, most of the kinetic energy is gained from falling down. Okay. So I'm going to, since I'm running out of space, I'm just going to calculate the final velocity. Okay, so the final velocity. is equal to So it would hit Earth at uh, 11 kilometers, 10.6 kilometers a second. All right. So this tells you that had it had you thrown this asteroid from the surface of the Earth, it wouldn't have escaped. So it was in a bound orbit, and it got deflected somehow, and now it's headed towards the Earth. Okay. So it was in a bound Earth Earth-bound orbit, and um, or well, and not an probably got deflected from the asteroid belt okay and it's heading towards your heading towards us okay we i believe we act actively monitor for well asteroids to see if anybody's anything is coming at us and if we can do anything about it okay. all right any questions on this From here to here, okay. Twenty-four minus eleven is thirteen, okay. And then thirteen minus six is seven, okay. And uh, since this was a velocity square, I would want to take the square root of that, so I don't want seven. So what I did was ten to the seven is equal to ten times ten to the six. I spent a ten there. That's what made it sixty. And there's the six, ten to, okay, and this also had ten to the six. Okay. This is a good habit to get into because generally I find that when you're typing in exponents, invariably you will make mistakes. Okay. So this is sort of a double check. All right. Any other questions? <clears throat> All right, so uh, we will stop after this problem. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow, six. No way. This is way too many problems. Okay. Anyway, so we'll stop after this and let's uh, save the recording. Okay. Okay. So, what will the kinetic energy of uh, the asteroid in the previous problem just before it, what will its kinetic energy be? Compare this energy to the output of the